Hi everyone, so I've only got a couple of minutes to spare because I'm picking up Foodie Laura, my fellow YouTuber friend, and we're actually going to the Denby factory today and I'm very excited and she's calling me now, so I'll see you in a bit. I finally got a Laura. Hello. And we're gonna go in and meet the marketing lady, uh, Zoe, and uh, she's gonna give us a tour around Denby and I think we're the first bloggers to ever go round. That could be wrong, but I'm really, really excited to see where it's all made. Wear special shoes as well. Yes, I hope they're attractive. <laughs> and we've got some spare socks. So, um, hmm, don't want to catch anything. <laughs> So it turns out we ended up having a two hour tour and the time just went so fast. Didn't even realise we'd been that long. And uh, we got to try dipping some mugs. It is quite difficult, although uh, I did want to take one home actually, but I'll leave it, I've got picture memories of it. And what else did we do? Oh yeah, and I managed to add some trim to some of the plate trims. So that was, that was very difficult actually. But uh, I think a lot of time would get lost, me personally anyway, just um, trying to be perfect. And all she did was just go over it with a damp cloth just to finish it and it just, it was magic. So you don't realise how much effort has gone into each plate and bowl. And it's a bit weird to think that somebody might be eating off that plate as well, unless they secretly put it in the bin. But we've got some goodie bags, so I just can't wait to 
just dive in. I'm going to show you what I've got. So a cool buckler. I'm sure I've seen all of these anyway. Some vouchers. Oh, they'll come in handy in the shop in a bit. Oh, they are really nice mugs. So you can never have enough mugs and you can bake cakes in these. So we've finished filming some Christmas videos and we're about to do some serious damage, maybe, in the <laughs> Denby shop. And it's a massive village, really. I'm quite excited. Laura's never been here before, so I want to show her a few things. Spend some money. <laughs> and I'll show her the, where the Denby Halo set is. quite a car journey and driving seems to give me a headache um, but I ended up picking up a Denby oven glove exactly the same one to match my other one so I've got a pair now because I'm doing a lot of cooking where the roasting dishes are so heavy and um, yeah these have been valuable so I'm glad I've got another one of those and I've also treated us to a ready-made lasagna a big freestanding wedge of it we had that before when we went last time and it was really nice so I've popped the oven on and that is tea and I've gone to the chippy but uh, yeah I just wanted an easy tea we all have one of those and um, as for the tour I'm so so grateful because um, I don't know if I said before if I had a chance it wasn't a sponsored post or video and I, I kind of begged to go a while ago, wanted to go and they said do you want me to book you in? I thought yeah and then my friend Laura from Free Foodie Laura she wanted to go as well so it kind of worked out because we did a couple of Christmas videos to go on each other's channel, did a lot of Christmas chocolate tasting and I've brought a lot back as well. The car stunk of gingerbread, I'm not saying that's really bad but yeah I was really hungry and when I'm starving I need savoury definitely um, but I didn't realise that the place was so massive at Denby. It's huge and there's absolutely no waste whatsoever and it's still all handmade apart from a few machines to speed up the process and massive kilns. Um, I try to get as much on camera but I will do a blog post. I'm buzzing right now talking so fast but it was really really cool and I definitely think they should do more tours because it felt like a museum, it really was fascinating. It might not be as fascinating to workers there, but it really was to us. And I didn't realize how massive the place went on for. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.